Good day and welcome to an episode of Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. My name is Marvin St. Louis. Today's discussion will be centered around Caribbean Youth Film Festival, established in 2012 in St. Lucia. It has also extended its reach to neighboring islands, including St. Vincent and Jamaica, in terms of submission of films to the festival. With that, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Colin Wicks, who is the founder and director of the festival. Also present is Mr. Imran Sembrice, participant and winner of Best Director at the 2017 Caribbean Youth Film Festival, and Mr. Lance George, who participated and got third place in the 2016 festival with the film, with the film, sorry, Why I Run. Gentlemen, welcome to the studios of the Government Information Service. Nice, thank you. Thank now, you. before we start, <coughs> and that error I made on the word film, <laughs> <laughs> Colin, <laughs> Colin knows that very well. At, what po at one point in my life, I could not pronounce the word film. And it was something I had to practice and work on. So I've come a long way <laughs> from pronunciations, but so has Mr. Weeks in <laughs> terms of his contribution to the arts and media, along with his contributions to youth through the festival. So Mr. Weeks, what have you been up to lately? Well, what I've been up to lately? Um, it, it's really a, a evolution of when you need arts, it's always a, an evolution. Um, you're never kind of at still. You know, there's always the next step, the next one, the next one. So really and truly, um, the film festival, I would like to say, is my, my baby. That's, that's what I, I think of throughout the, the whole year, the 12 months. And, but in terms of, of earning a living, I do the run of the mill productions in terms of commercials, documentaries, um, music videos, and so forth. So in terms of what I'm up to, I do multiple things. And, and, and as you know, when, in, you're in the, when you're in the Caribbean, you kind of also have to wear many hats in terms of production. So I, I script, I direct, I edit, I shoot. Um, so, so it's, it is always a continued growth. It's always continued movement. Um, so, yeah, so up to is a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> the Caribbean Youth Film Festival empowers youth. I'm sorry, the Caribbean Youth Film Festival empowers young artists to express their creativity, entertain audiences, and share their visions with a more just and sustainable world. The festival is a model for Caribbean communities engagement, a celebration of youth culture, and a showcase of richness and diversity of a new generation of filmmakers. So, Mr. Weeks, mm -hmm. why the name the Caribbean Youth Film Festival and not the Colin Weeks Youth Film Festival <laughs> or St. Lucia Youth Film Festival? Well, well Colin Weeks Youth Film Festival will, will hold so much weight to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> so because who wants to who wants to submit to the Colin Weeks <laughs> Film Festival? Um, but but um, on a serious note, the festival was actually called the Rise Film Festival when we started off, um, because for the first two years I did it with Rice and Lucia, um, and then we we graduated from there. Really and truly, um, it was an incubation stage where we we needed that support, and and I was working with Rise. Um, I, I did a number of voluntary projects with RISE, so it was only natural for me to do that um, youth project with them. Um, but the festival in itself had to grow, and in order to do that, we wanted to have a bigger reach and, and, and a wider audience. And the wider audience for us now is the Caribbean, um, so it became the Caribbean Youth Film Festival. And um, yeah, so as simple as that, we just want to in, um, engage youth all over the Caribbean to be part of part of this festival and which we have been doing in recent years as you mentioned we've been getting submissions from um, St. Vincent um, uh, as far as Jamaica I, I would even say that um, we missed out Barbados because in the, the first couple of years we ha we worked closely with the um, university there um, UWI and they had a, a film project and they were submitting films through there um, so yes yeah, so we it's very extensive in terms of where we want to reach um, hopefully it will become an international film festival it will still obviously we'll still keep the brand as Caribbean but um, we, we're hoping that we engage especially um, young filmmakers in the diaspora you know so a young filmmaker from Canada from England wherever that um, feel a natural place 
to submit uh, to, uh, to, to this festival and show their Caribbean as their, their heritage to be part of, of the, her her the heritage and not feel apart because they're living for in a distant land. Um, so do you think you've attained that expansion? Obviously you, obviously, you initially set out for and had in mind. And if so, by what means you think you achieved that? Well, um, as I said, um, we, we, I wouldn't say we totally have achieved it, but we're getting there. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the aim is to engage all young people in the Caribbean to be part of this. Um, I, I should even say that we got submissions from from Trinidad, from, from St. Lucian based tram young Trinidadians there. So so we, we've also gotten from Trinidad. So yes, really and truly it it is becoming what we set it off to be. And um, it's it's a matter of growth again. It's a it's a matter of expanding it as much as possible. It's a matter of, of, of marketing as much as possible. We have been doing a lot more um, marketing on social media and in terms of reaching out to a lot more um, young filmmakers across the Caribbean and we've been getting feedback from from Antigua, from, from Dominica, from Grenada um, and as I said we've been having participation from the other islands. We even had a film from Guadeloupe last year however but it was not a short because I, again the film festival is basically for shorts um, so that film is still is basically with us and we, we want to screen it um, as part of, of when we do our screenings but you know just to show you the reach and it's it's a well-known um, filmmaker. She, she's actually based in France but um, she's, she's, she was born in, in Guadeloupe so we, we, she, she sent it in as a Caribbean uh, film. Um, so yes we, we're reaching out as much as possible and we continue to, to do our marketing, we continue to do our, our reaching out and, and, and and um, merge with, with as many agencies as possible so to get that reach, you know. In terms of reaching out, gentlemen, Imran and Lance, how did you guys hear about the festival? Anyone is welcome <laughs> to go first. <laughs> well, I, I basically heard about um, the film festival through social media. Um, it was on Facebook. Um, I, have a, I have a group in Cicero of, of about 17 young persons and you know I, I really work with young persons trying to keep them off the streets you know get them engaged and um, this group is a, a jovial group and one day I just decided to just pull a camera that I had there and just go outside and just record some stuff and the guys were just doing nonsense honestly it was nonsense you know and I sat down and I put it together and you know just really just looked at it and laughed about it and then um, somebody in the neighborhood Mr. Brown said, you know, you guys could really go someplace with this. I'm wondering well, what avenue is there? And there was another film festival that we tried to get involved in, and that was costing us some money, you know? And for young people who, who do not work, you know, it, w it was a little bit disappointing for them. Until um, I was just on Facebook, just browsing, and then I saw the, the Youth Film Festival, and I was like, hey, wait, is this St. Lucia? <laughs> and then, you know, I contacted Colin directly and he said, yeah, you, you could submit. I think it was a few, a few days before, you know, the deadline for submissions. Oh. And I just grabbed one of the videos, the Wyron video, um, spoke to the group about it. Everybody was like, no, the quality is not good and all that. And still, we just sent it through, right there through Facebook. And next thing I know. You know, Colin has been on my back to <laughs> come to this and find myself there, you know, a shocker that we actually came third place. So it's all through social media, the powers I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Imran, before you answer that, we have to take a break now. You've been watching, <coughs> you've been watching in Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. When we come back, I will re-engage with Mr. Imran and we will speak about his past and present projects, including Lance, and continue speaking to Mr. Colin Weeks on the festival and future and benefits, including prizes that one may acquire participating. We'll see you in a while. Oi, you realize you step on my toe? Well, do something about it. Gasai, bust in Hold on! 
If somebody try to cross you, Hola. and it might start to take you, Hola. no need for war or violence, cause the police there to help you. Hola. If a trouble start in this session, alright, no need for aggression. Hola. We don't want no violence in the place. Hola. 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 Control your temper, right. respect each other. Don't let no trouble escalate, cause you know better. Control your temper, respect each other. Don't let no trouble escalate, cause you know better. Control your temper. A message from Mission Boy Studio 758, Acid Creations, and the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. Welcome back. In studio with me is Mr. Colin Weeks, founder of the Caribbean Youth Film Festival, Mr. Imran St. Bryce, winner of Best Director for his film Secure at the 2017 Caribbean Youth Film Festival, and also Mr. Lance George. Imran, tell us quickly, how did you hear about the festival? Well, I heard about it actually at the beginning of 2017. The, the festival hosted a few workshops at the Bosseju Indoor Facility with a few British producers who are more experienced in that field. And it was around the time that I decided to start getting into filmmaking, so I attended those workshops. And it was from there that I learned about what the festival is doing on a whole and not just in that one workshop at the time. So it was just through, I guess, word of mouth, to be honest, someone telling me about this and that, and then me ending up there and just taking it from there. Mr. Weeks, mm -hmm. as part of the festival, <coughs> additionally, you have the benefits of workshops for the youth, as Imran mentioned. Mm -hmm. Tell us about them. Well, um, I must say, though, the workshops started off as a secondary um, component to the festival. Um, obviously, the, the whole aspect of the, the festival is to educate, but we, we, the emphasis was really to showcase what has been shown um, or what has been produced. But, but throughout the years that we found that there was so much interest in, in ed the educational aspect of it, actually building the capaci capacity of, of the young filmmakers, that it act, uh, I would say now that it is, it's, it is the four the forefront of the, the festival, where, where the emphasis now is really on the workshops and, and we take it, I guess, a little more seriously than we did at, at, at the beginning. Um, so yes, we, we engage as much as possible. Uh, what we have done again is, is collaborated with a number of agencies on the island, um, including the public libraries, um, the probation unit, um, Department of um, the Creative Industries, where we provide workshops during the summer. Uh, so again, what we want to do is engage as many youth as possible during the summer um, for them to, to, to tap into their creative abilities. And, and we're not saying necessarily that you become a filmmaker, but, but because, because film is so wide in terms of the, scopes of, uh, or the scope of things that, um, or the elements that are put into film, so it could be from your technical, from your technical abilities to your, your vocational abilities that... Um, that you could you could kind of harness it through through filmmaking. So the the, the workshops are not just on a technical basis, but it, it gives you such a wide variety of, of skills that and including life skills eh, that we, we teach during those workshops. Um, so it, it is it is really a, a, a good avenue for young people to explore and express themselves. And and so so the workshops have really taken um, on a different level, as I said, we go island-wide. We've done across the island from the north to the south, east, west, in terms of, of, of the workshops. And we do it through the public libraries. We do it through um, the probation unit. We do it with whoever that we could work with. We also work, have worked with the, with the SSDF in terms of, of bringing on um, some of the, the um, collaborated um, agencies in, there in terms of voice training centers and, and, and those um, those organizations. Um, so yeah, so so yeah, the, the film festival is really about empowering, and, and I would use our, our slogan, empowering youth. That's basically what it is, to emp empower youth in all aspects. So how many persons have you accommodated in those workshops? I would, last year we accommodated over 300 youth oh. as part of the workshops. Oh. Um, and, and not taking what, what, again, the other workshops and the other little um, 
avenues that we have done throughout the year. For example, when we do our Easter program and so forth. Um, that's an additional set of workshops that we have done. So yes, it, we, we, we reach and we tend to reach <laughs> many more um, young people as much as possible. Okay. So tell me quickly, so the festival runs. Give us the timelines. Well, we starting off this year, well, we, we, we usually start off with the, with the workshops, um, and that starts at the end of July. Mm -hmm. um, but our award ceremony is actually on the 18th of August. The, the deadline, we have different dates. The deadline for, for submission is on the 14th of August. And um, we have a, a two-week workshop that we, we try to accommodate um, for, for just persons who are interested in, in coming and learn um, from a, it runs from eight, from, sorry, from 10 to three um, every day. And that will be happening from the fifth, no, from the sixth to the 17th. And um, yeah, so it, it, is, it is really just to engage young people as much as possible through the, the summer. And in between that, we, encur we encourage um, persons like, like Lance and um, Imran to, to um, um, submit you know, and be part of the festival. We, one of the other elements that we're actually trying to put on this year is actually have some master classes, again, for young professionals like yourself who, who are working during the day but would like the, the, the extra, you know, um, the extra activities uh, after work. So what we're going to do this year is try to put on some master classes for, for after work period for young professionals. And what is the criteria for the festival? Is there a specific genre of film that could be submitted and length? And who can submit to the festival? Well, yeah. Well, everybody, well, all youth could submit to the festival. And youth is really anybody under uh, the age of 35 or 45 and under. Um, in terms of, of international standards. Um, in terms of genre, we want, we want, again, this to be open to everybody. So the genre could be anything. And when we say, we say anything, we mean anything. In terms of, of even a music video, um, documentary, um, what have you, that, that if whatever you feel that you want to submit, short film that you want to submit is fine. Um, again, in terms of, of genre in... Um, horror, comedy, <laughs> whatever you want. Um, and and uh, what, was the, what was the other one? Sorry, what was your other question? In terms of who? In who, 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 who? Well, again. It, meaning locally, regionally? Yeah, country. yeah. Again, as we said, it, it is open to everybody. So everybody is welcome. So to if you're part. watching this video yes. and you're in Russia, yes, you, you can. can submit. You can submit. <laughs> Imran Sambrais, you entered the festival in 2017 with the film Secure and won Best Director. Was this your first time entering the festival? And tell us about the film. We only have two minutes left, gentlemen. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, it was my first time because I entered for the first time in 2017. Yes, that was also the same year that I got interested in filmmaking. So it's like I just got straight into it right away. Um, Secure is basically, it's a revenge story about a security guard who's trying to get revenge on his boss, on his boss man, pretty much. Yeah, that's a, as brief a description I can give <laughs> of what the film is about. What, how did you get an inspiration? Or what inspires you to produce a film like that? Um, everyday life, to be honest, because my place of work, when I walk in and I see the security guards just standing there looking around, bored, like nothing interesting is going on in their life, I decided, okay, how can I take this very ordinary job, ordinary person, and make it something dramatic, something that can entertain as a film? And so after a few weeks, I just started coming up with the ideas and really making it something very logical that I could put onto film for entertainment. Lance, tell us about your film, Why Run? Well, Why Run, I mean, it, it came from a cultural background because we as St. Lucians, we, <laughs> we seem to have the idea once you see your partner run, you know you had to run. You can't stay there because you don't know what coming. <laughs> you know, and this, this story tells of one person or one individual who decided he yeah, running. You know, he's not going to run no matter the situation. So we just basically give um, examples of you know, things that could happen as a result of not running until in the end, he was the first one to actually <laughs> run and leave the others behind. That's it, basically. Okay. Mr. Weeks, final question. 
quickly tell us about the prizes this year and even some of the previous years for yeah. persons interested. Right. Um, well, let me first say, because we have gotten this um, question from a number of um, young people in terms of prizes, but really and truly, a festival is there to expose <coughs> your abilities, expose your work. Um, so you don't really get prizes as a, uh, uh, in, when you enter a film festival internationally. There aren't really prizes. Uh, but, but what it is, is it's to give you exposure. However, um, we have been given prizes, um, again, just to encourage, to encourage um, persons to be part of it. So we have worked closely with um, Unicorn McCotts and, and a number of other places, um, Computer World and, and a number of uh, agencies who have, um, organizations who have given us prizes um, to, to, to the filmmakers as part of, uh, part of the, the festival. Um, again, one of the things I just want to come back on in terms of what Lance said early on about the quality of the work, not even that we really judge you on as such in terms of the quality of um, the, the film, if you want to put it that way, in terms of, of, of if it's, it's a low res or a high res in that way. But what we judge is that the quality of production in terms of your, your script, your, your, sh your shooting, your technique and shooting, um, your, your acting and that. But in, if you have a, in other words, we want to encourage everybody to participate. So if you have a phone and you want to shoot off the phone, don't think, boy, the quality of the phone might not be. We're really looking for what your story is. That's, so that's the emphasis of the quality that we're looking for, the quality of, of the actual production and not the quality of the film. So dread it, run from it, Destiny still arrives, and so has the Caribbean Youth Film Festival. On behalf of the team at the Government Information Service, I'd like to thank you for having us. Have a good day.